Alright guys, it's Radian, and for today's video we're going to take a look at how long it takes to take down gates and walls in World v. World uh, with different types of siege. And I've got this typed out for you guys, I tested it all out, recorded the information, and came up with these numbers. So, just to explain how this works, they're all going to assume that you have max mastery, so siege might, ram mastery, uh, catapult mastery, trap mastery, and uh, golem mastery. So. For the rams, it's gonna there's gonna be one more assumption. It's gonna assume that there's ten stacks of structural vulnerability and a gate. Since when you have two or more rams, you're gonna keep ten stacks at all times. So this is all with one siege item. So one basic ram with ten stacks of structural vulnerability, which obviously not possible to have ten stacks with one ram. But um, one ram takes 2.04 minutes. A basic ram on a basic gate, superior ram. So the spear is always just gonna be 50% faster. 1.36 minutes. So I'd really like to throw two basic rams on a gate. Um, basic wall, remember the amount of time it takes for the catapult depends on the range. For the catapults we're just going to say minimum range for these calculations. So 2.95 minutes on a basic wall with a basic catapult. Spear catapult 1.96 minutes and I put 44 percent longer. What I mean by that is if you compare a basic catapult on a basic wall to a basic ram on a basic gate takes 44% longer to get in through the basic wall than it does to get in through that basic gate. And then same for superior comparisons as well. So reinforced gate, we got the basic ram, 5.11 minutes, superior ram, 3.41 minutes. Reinforced wall, basic catapult, 6.87 minutes, superior catapult, 4.58 minutes, now 34% longer. So the reinforced wall only takes 34% longer than a gate at minimum range on the catapult. Obviously, remember, you do have to clear the NPCs when you go to the gate, so you got to factor that into account, which is not factored into these calculations. These calculations are just assuming siege items already up. How long does it take to take down the gate or wall using your skills on recharge? And then fortified gate, basic ram, 7.15 minutes, superior ram, 4.76 minutes. And then I decided I sometimes like to use alphas on fortified gates. I don't really like to use them on reinforced or paper quite as much because fortified gates take longer, so if you can pre-build some alphas, that'll speed it up. 7.8 minutes on a full exotic PTV Ranger. Remember, Alphas, use your power stat. And this was with Golem Mastery and Siege Mod as well. So, depending on what type of gear you have, that'll affect the DPS your Golem does. Most of your DPS will not be from your gear. It'll be from the uh, increase in power that the Golem gives in the Golem Mastery. But th this was exotic PTV Ranger, so please use power gear if you can when you're manning your Alpha. And then fortified wall, 11.36 minutes for basic catapult. <clears throat> and 7.58 minutes on spirit catapult. And then notice it says 59% longer to go in through a fortified wall than a fortified gate. So let's just finish off with the trap. Uh, the trap calculations, unlike the catapult calculations I have, this is for full range. 27 minutes well, with a basic trap with mastery to take down a fortified wall at full range. 18 minutes on a spirit trap. So just real quick, we're almost done. Look at the fortified wall, it takes 59% longer than a fortified gate. Reinforced wall, 34% longer than a reinforced gate. Basic wall, 44% longer. So, you'll notice reinforced has the lowest percentage here. So, if you want a catapult, something that's reinforced, that's really not that much longer. And especially if, here's, here's two things to notice. One, so the reinforced wall has the lowest percentage increase in timing for catapults versus rams. So if you're going to a tower or keep and you just want to be as quick as possible, if you run into a wall before you run into a gate, you can just drop catapults. I know it's 34% longer, but remember you have to, if the gate is further away, you have to factor in how much further you have to run and you have to factor into the NPCs you have to kill, you can just catapult the wall. Now if it's a basic wall, 44% longer, that might sound like, oh, it's a little bit bigger of a percentage, but when the numbers are already low, you know, what is 44% when it's not going to take that long already? So again, with the basic wall, if you run into a wall before you run into a gate and it's paper, you can just catapult. If you're just going for efficiency, that's fine. And then fortified wall, well now, now it takes 59% longer. And remember, 59% of a large number is pretty big, whereas 44% of a small number, not that big of a difference. So for fortified, if you... Th Unless there's like a ninja catapult wall that you think there's no way to defend it, which there are a few in the desert maps I know on the lava keep. An air keep, a few of those, and a summon EBG where you catapult with the high ground. That's fine if you want to do it that way. But if you're just going for efficiency, 
on something that's fortified, I would ram it. If you're just going for efficiency and it's not about, you know, trying to avoid enemy defensive siege or something. Because it takes 59% longer on the fortified wall, which is not only the highest percentage, but when you take 59% of a large number, that makes a bigger difference. So even if the gate's a little bit further away, I would still ram the fortified stuff if you're going for efficiency. But anyways, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.